Now I was contemplating. Hold the fuck up. Now I was contemplating whether or not I should engage in more physical activities. And I was also contemplating whether I should call this. I need to work out more or I need to be more athletic. Now, it's been very obvious that I'm not a very physical person. That's why whenever I engage in sports with my friends, I'm always on the losing team because you're only as strong as your weakest link. That's how it works for teams. So if I'm the weakest player, they'll exploit me more and other people will like dislike being a team with me. Why? I'm not athletic. And I used to blame this on something that was maybe, maybe it was not meant for me. But then I looked at it and I realized, how often do I play sports? I mean, let's be frank here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Now I do have sports equipment. I have basketballs and I have shit like that. But I don't use it. And another thing is, now, I've been trying to live 50s, I can live 25s, but that's not a very impressive feat. I've been trying to live 50s. I need to get me some 50s, because they have some in my cousin's house, and they have some in my school gym, but I'm not going to be able to go to gym anymore, so... Um, it's got to be something else. I have to improve my body. First and foremost, I'm working on my core. We'll get to that later. What made me realize all of this and put this all into perspective, first and foremost was that I'm spending time at my cousin's house. And my cousin, in that city, they're a little bit more athletic. That's how they socialize. They play basketball and they play a lot of other sports, but it's 99% of the time basketball. And I'm always getting spanked. Because when I shoot, I shoot like that. And you're supposed to do it like that. <sighs> Shit. I'm left handed. And this is very detrimental because I'm on the losing team all the fucking time. And these people are fiends. I mean, he sucked, but he always made a point against me. He lost to everybody else all the time, but there was just no contest. And that didn't really make me think of anything, because I was like, all right, so you lose. It's not very foreign to me. It's not going to break my spirit. But then it was Friday, last Friday, and... See, I was hoping to have that they were gonna go on vacation and shit, so that I can have an open crib party. But that's not what happened. So we ended up going to the beach, and we were there for hours and hours until I realized that it was us in the sun. We weren't doing anything physical. Most athletic we've been on that beach was walking towards the water, getting a little wet, walking back, um, eating degenerate food that doesn't help your health at all. And we never really did anything physical. I was hoping that maybe we should do some volleyball, and I suck at volleyball, and I obviously realized that I don't do anything with this shit and I'm young I should be able to do something physical I should be able to do something but that's not what happens I guess evidently I started working out again and doing some core exercises and I'm realizing I'm hurting my abdominal muscles I'm getting cramps and shit so obviously I'm doing something wrong 
Well, also, I'm noticing bad habits. I'm not warming up. Because I'm not warming up when I actually try and do something physical. Obviously, doing something that I normally don't do and not warming up before I do it is going to fucking hurt. And that's not what I want for my core. I do these exercises for a stronger core and shit. And it bites me in the ass. So there you go. Another thing is that I have such a go-to attitude. I do, I was thinking of doing 25, wait, 5 sets of 25 for push-ups, reverse push-ups, frog crunches, and things like that. I didn't notice that, well, I could do these in gym. There were little rules, and I had to start smaller if I'm going to do this on a regular basis, on a weekly basis, so that they can have more recovery time. It just doesn't fucking work. Um, like, my muscles would get stiff in the middle of one set. And for the push-ups, it's alright. But the reverse push-ups and things like that... And even just a second set of 25s, it doesn't work. So I have to do smaller sets. I'm already having a nice 40 second resting time, but still. Another thing, um, I need heavier weights. I mean, these are all girl weights over here that my mom hasn't touched in ages. There's 3 pounders, 6 pounders. I'll never lift those because... I have no use for them. And all I'm trying to say here is that odds are I'm not engaging in anything physical. Because I'm not engaging in anything physical, I'm not really doing anything with myself. Another big thing I noticed was my fucking diet. I eat whatever is in front of me. Someone puts some shit in front of me and I fucking eat it. It's like I'm four or something, yet I'm 17, so that's unacceptable. Problem is... What I tend to find is high sugar, high carb stuff. But it's never a useful carb. And furthermore, no fat, no protein. Any fat or protein I take in for necessary purposes isn't gonna, it doesn't really happen during post breakdown. So it's not really during recovery time, it's disorganized, my diet. And a lot of it's my fault, and a lot of it's my fault. That's the only person I should really blame. So, basically what I'm trying to say here is... Oh shit, I need to work on. No, I'm not fapping right now. I mean, I understand that you wouldn't assume that. Unless you're like a complete degenerate, but... That's not what I was doing there. I was tapping on the paint bucket that I'm sitting on right now. Alright. Hope you enjoyed this video and shit. Probably gonna make another one right after it, but... Should I say suck my dick? Hmm, probably not. If I say, like, at the end of every video, it'd get formulaic and people wouldn't fucking enjoy it and shit, so... I'm not going to say it this time, but next time I'll say suck my dick. I noticed that with social networking, which is something I mentioned in June, I was getting interested in that, speaking about that subject, but stuff like Facebook, um, you really get people that, especially chicks, think they have a cult or are celebrities. And in my life, I can think of 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, fucking 16 people that are like that. And it's just off the top of my fucking head. And it's weird because that cult, I just realized this. If they didn't act like a support team, that little cult that agrees with everything and supports her emotionally, and Rush is having this problem with this chick who called them like a pig and shit for some reason. He said that she was the ugliest girl in the fucking world. And her support team came to say she wasn't ugly, she was beautiful, which she wasn't. And even if she wasn't ugly, I think that just because you're not ugly doesn't mean you're beautiful. If you had very forgiving eyes, you'd say she was probably less than average at best. Mediocre. Whack. I ain't. But certainly not beautiful or attractive in any possible way. I a blank slate for sexuality. Regardless, enough with the awkward humor, because it's awkwardly not succeeding, we get into the subject of what this cult really is. Now, each chick's individual cult in a normal functioning society is actually just the herd she belongs to. It actually is. It's the herd she's just a part of. So this thing she feels she's on the upper echelon of and is the master of, she's just another piece of that collective. She's not really on the top dog if this was a functioning society. Hell, it's an illusion if she's the top dog and that's what's going on now. They feel like they have a cult but it's not really a cult they run. It's actually just a herd they're another part of. People that they know or associate in some way, indirect way. They're just another piece of that little puzzle. And how this would work is they stopped agreeing with everything she said, stopped putting up with her shit. But what would happen is they could, as a herd, say bullshit like 1 plus 1 equals 3 or things that aren't true in an objective sense. But it would form a subjective truth because it's the truth within the herd that she's a part of and she is a part of that herd. It's not a cult that she runs because once she stopped putting up with her shit, it returns to its true state, and of course, me being old Jake Gyllenhaal looking like I have Tourette's, uh, she'd have to start accepting these subjective truths that don't apply to reality, and instead of them feeding her with these delusions that bore her but also strengthen her, She's a part of a herd that she has to follow or find another place to go. And she will have to apply these subjective truths, these not truths in reality, but truths amongst the herd. Otherwise, it's all fucked up. And there's several institutions I can think of where this could happen or where I can imagine a similar situation occurring, but that's just the way it goes.